Hi, my name is Shar and I am a Filipino student at Tsinghua University, China's number one university. Can't believe that New Year was just a few weeks ago, and now Spring Festival is coming up. So I thought it would be helpful to go back to my dorm, clean, really hone in on the benefits of being organized, and share with you some tips to spark joy the new year. Let's start with tip number one. Start with one area. If your whole home needs some major reorganization, you will feel overwhelmed and burnt out if you try to tackle everything at once. Start with one cabinet or closet and slowly work your way throughout one room. You can also try Marie Kondo's Conmarie method and focus on one category of items at a time. Start with all of your clothes or all of your paperwork. Instead of trying to organize your entire bedroom or dorm in one go. Tip number two, manage your time. You can take small steps toward organization each evening when you come from school or during pockets of time throughout the day. Note that whether you can devote an entire weekend to organize or you are stuck with a spare hour at the end of a long day, it is going to take time. Organizing your whole home from top to bottom is a process that will take several weeks, but the results are so worth it. Bonus tip, if you are looking to organize your schedule, why not do it with Notion? With Notion, you can easily track anything and everything in your own student workspace. Notion is not just a note-taking app. It is a tool to organize digital life. It helps by storing all the files and notes in one place. It works as a flexible database where PDFs, images, and other files can be embedded. Tip number three, curate your most useful or meaningful items. If you have large collections of items that matter to you, it is perfectly okay to keep them. But before you can start finding the best organization method for your space, it helps to get rid of unwanted junk. If you have ill-fitting clothes, old receipts, or random things you no longer want, donate them or throw them out. If you want to donate some of your things, you can donate them to Roundabout, a social enterprise founded by Leslie Simpson in 2008 in Beijing. Roundabout introduces itself as a charity shop and distribution center, being a bridge of the resources and needs. They sell donated goods to raise money. The raised money and donations are used to pay for the medical and educational fees of sick children in China, as well as charity organization in need. Tip number four, divide your spaces. Once you have removed all of your items from storage spots and determined which ones you want to keep, maximize your remaining space by layering different organizational containers. Use boxes, baskets, plastic storage bins, and standing shelves inside your cabinets, closets, and drawers. If you use the space you have wisely, you can find your items quickly and easily. Tip number five, focus on visibility. With the last tip in mind, remember that visibility is key. If you store something away and you can't see it easily, you might forget where it is or that you even own it at all. Store smarter and make sure you can see all of the items in any given cabinet, container, or drawer. I hope these organizational tips spark joy for you. Happy organizing and advance, 新年快乐! See you in the next one!